Many of you watched my video on how to winterize your sprinkler system, and a lot of you made a request for me to make a video on how to de-winterize your sprinkler system. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. It's super easy. Come take a look with me. You may recognize this black thing behind me as my sprinkler backflow preventer. Every year during the winter, I come out here and I shut it off and I drain it and I cover it with towels and then I cover it with plastic to keep it from experiencing any freeze damage during the winter. And then now it's springtime and so it's time to reverse that process and show you how to turn it back on. It's really easy, so let's get started. I always cover mine with a trash bag to keep weather off of it, so I first remove that trash bag. And then I remove any tape that I had holding on all the towels. This time I use blue tape because it doesn't leave any residue and it's really easy to get off. Then I just remove the towels that I used to cover it up. Now that I got the cover off, I'm just gonna do a visual check real quick to make sure that we didn't have any damage and we don't have any leaks here. So let's go in and take a look. For whatever reason, cracks tend to happen on the back side of these valves, uh, but I'm not seeing anything here. And uh, this one looks okay. And so I'm gonna turn it on and see if we have any leaks. Now I take a flathead screwdriver and I'm going to close off the petcocks on the side that I previously opened up to winterize it. The vertical position is off. And after that, I'm going to screw back in the brace because mine has a brace that holds it to the wall. And that just gives it a little bit more stability when I pressure it up. Once that's secured into place, I'll go ahead and turn on both valves. Again, when the valve is parallel to the pipe, it is on. Perpendicular is off. And you notice a little bit of water comes out of this whenever I turn it on. And that's completely normal. As long as no water is coming out of these valves because of a crack, that will dry up right away. That's not, that doesn't mean that it's damaged. That just happens normally and so i don't feel any cracks i don't feel any water besides what just came out of here now i'm going to turn on my isolation valve and then we'll really see how it's working okay and with the isolation valve on i don't see any drips i don't feel any water coming out of any cracks and it appears that this thing has survived another winter now, like I mentioned in the video, whenever I winterized this thing, there are many different ways to do that. The method that I did in that video and the method that I just tore apart in this video is the way I've done it every year. And it works for my area here in the Houston area of Texas. Again, this thing, we experience hard freezes. I've seen a ton of these already this season that are broken on other people's houses. Uh, but mine, it made it. So that's it. Very simple. It's springtime now. Let's start watering our grass, get that to green up, get some plants planted out here, make everything look nice again, and get ready for some better weather.